If you want to enhance your health and fitness, or if you want to begin a journey into health and fitness, then you should watch this video. Do you feel like you aren't getting the results you want even though you have been working out? Do you feel unsure of what to do at the gym? I understand, I have been there. The pursuit of health and fitness can be frustrating if you don't know where to start. The market is oversaturated, yet it's difficult to find valuable advice. You can hire a trainer, but not everyone has the money for that. I know I didn't when I started working out. My job is to meet you in the middle and to do so without selling you a bunch of crap. I'm here to be professional and effective. How to work out gives you the power of knowledge with fitness and shows you how to use it to achieve your goals. So there were two main reasons for writing this book when I decided to write this book. One, I wanted to write a book that I wish I had access to when I started working out. I feel like I just didn't have access to the information and I felt like it should have been easier. I still feel like a lot of people feel that way today. And because health and fitness saved my life, as cheesy as that sounds, we'll get into it. I didn't just happen to get into fitness because I was this athlete and it was just natural for me. It was actually quite the opposite. I came from a rough area where most of my peers around me were abusing various different substances, to say the least. I made a promise to myself it was going to be different for me. This is where fitness came in as it really was my only chance to be different. And I loved it. While people around me were doing drugs to have fun or find out more about themselves, I was learning more about myself through weight training and sports. It was obvious to me that I was learning much more about myself as well as life itself. It took me a while to learn how to find books that discussed how to program workouts and how to understand the physiology of working out. Then once learning how to program these workouts, there was also still a struggle of learning how to do the exercises correctly to begin with. I know there are a lot of exercise videos on the internet, but it's really hard to know what's credible or actually useful if you're just someone that's just starting out. Um, as a professional now, I can go on YouTube and be like, okay, well, this guy's good, or, or uh, this guy's an idiot, and, or maybe this lady really knows what she's talking about. But... In the beginning, I didn't know any better, and I would take some advice from some videos I watched, and sometimes it didn't lead to great results, to say the least. But even in the case of that, I still kept learning. Nevertheless, because I'd rather die than do anything else outside the field of health and fitness, I persisted to learn. I demanded the answers, and it paid off. I became a dominant athletic force, playing in many different sports. I broke a squat record, and I've had the opportunity to train just about every type of person there is to train. I've trained professional athletes. I've done sports performance with five-year-olds. I was even to, I was even able to do some rehab training with a 95-year-old. Shout out Barney, because Barney is the man. I even made it onto a college rugby team, which allowed me to play competitive rugby in college, of course. And this allowed me to travel all over the U.S., and I was even able to do a little tour in England playing rugby. It was really amazing, one of the best opportunities I've ever had in my life. I did well in sports, not because I was athletic, but more so because I worked my ass off through fitness and the sport, and I was just fitter from, than just about everyone else because of all the work I've been putting in my whole life. The reason why I've had the opportunity to do all of these things is because I've worked hard strictly through fitness. I wasn't a great rugby player. I was an okay rugby player but I could go harder and longer than anyone else could. And that was super valuable and brought me all sorts of opportunities. Really just working hard is what has got me places. Working hard will yield results. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what fitness level or what background you come from. I learned how to go from knowing nothing to knowing how to create any type of body that I want. The way I see it, most people simply want to know how to work out for themselves. There are a million different catchy booty and blaster programs out there, but there isn't much that simply shows people how to work out for the long haul, and for the longevity of their lives. Now, for the first time, people will have access to the power on how to effectively start working out for themselves. So that's what How to Work Out does. How does the ebook do this? Let's talk about it. So to start by explaining this, a great way of showing is just the table of contents that is written in the beginning of the book. So as you can see, I have 
different joint stacking methods for different exercises and different segments of the body. I then talk about going into writing workout programs. Then there is a large table of exercises and how to choose exercises to target specific muscle groups. So say example, you wanna work on your quads, there's a list of quadricep exercises in there that you can pick and choose to do. I also have anatomical figures. So maybe you don't know your anatomy, anatomy very well. Maybe you don't know, you know body parts very well. You can look at the pictures and be like, okay, and now I know what this muscle is. Go back to the table, say, I want to work this muscle, find the exercise, and then learn how to do the exercise through the ebook. So I also talk about cardio. Um, not very fun to look at in the beginning here but in my section i talk about how to program cardio with training in the gym and the, how to do it in a fun way cardio doesn't have to be miserable and i talk about that in the ebook also talk about circuits finishers so big bang for your buck there really great way to hammer on any weaknesses or spots or areas that you really want to develop nutrition um very blanket statement nutrition advice that i give so what I mean by that is the nutrition advice is based on nutrition lifestyle for your entire life. So I, I'm, I encourage you to go look at other nutrition programs and try them out. But when nutrition programs run their course, say you do a month challenge, the nutrition guidelines in this section are focused on how to eat for your entire lifestyle. I also have a couple sample workout programs excuse me, sample nutrition programs to choose based on the three main goals of either losing weight, gaining weight, or maintaining weight. So say you're trying to stay at the same weight, but you want to gain muscle and lose body fat. I have something in there for that too. Not very sexy, but I also have a section on warming up and cooling down. I make it very fast just to say, hey, it's important to warm up and cool down. And here is a warm up and cool down that everyone can do. After that, I have workout programs. This is where there's already lots of value in this ebook, but this is where a lot of the value really starts to come in. So there's pre-written workout programs in here and we'll talk more about that. And then there's an exercise index showing you how to do all the exercises with visuals on the pages. And they also have a video link on every single page for you to click on. So to dive deeper into that joint stacking, this is an, ex an example of what joint stacking will look like. So I have several pages of joint stacking, but this is an example of joint stacking for pushing and pulling movements in the horizontal plane. So as you can see on the left here, in the middle left picture, I have a narrow arrow shape in my body between my arms and torso. And then over here, I have a wider shape, wider arrow shape. So let's go back to the far left picture here. My fists, they're vertical, right? So this is called a neutral position. Usually with pushing and pulling movements with a neutral grip, the arrow shape will be more narrow. So this is good, good joint stacking mechanics that you want. Now going over to the right here, my fists, my palms are now facing down, making a fist kind of like if you're gonna like punch something. So usually when you're doing pushing or pulling movements, you'll have a wider arrow shape in your body when you have this grip. Um, this is usually a little more ideal. And the main point here is that you do want some sort of arrow shape, no matter, basically, no matter what pushing or pulling movement you're doing, because this is safer for your shoulder joints. So if you go up in the T shape, if this was a T shape, that would be more detrimental to your shoulder joints. And I talk more about that in my ebook. So here's an example of that T right here. So going off of joint stacking, I talk about critical exercise techniques that blend over between many, many different exercises. There is always a little bit of wiggle room, of course, uh, but there's blanket statement techniques and principles that you want to stick to to make sure you're safe, first of all, and second of all, to make sure that you're getting the best outcome out of the exercise that you're doing. So to get the best results. So going off that, we apply the pushing mechanics with a push up here. So as you can see, I'm using an arrow shape in my body still. Okay, my elbows are somewhat tight, so they're not in a T-shape when I'm doing the push-ups here. So if it's a bench press, similar concepts. I talk about these concepts with a critical exercise, critical exercise technique. And then again, I also have a YouTube link here describing it if there is any confusion or if you'd rather just watch a video instead of read. 
Then I go into how to design a workout plan for yourself. So in the book, basically I make it pretty informational in the beginning. And then the next section of the how to design a workout plan for yourself, it is that step by step. So first decide how many days that you're going to be able to do. And then you can throw in some exercises or at least movements to make sure that you are getting in the movements that your body needs. For example, your body needs lower body pushing movements and the upper body pull and vice versa, upper body push, lower body pull. So make sure that your body is getting those movements in. And then from there, we can program to meet your needs or desires. So for example, if you want to work on your arms or work on your legs, we would then add more or even change more depending on the situation um, exercises accordingly to make sure that you're getting your needs. And I explained how to do this for three days, four days, five days, and so on. Going into nutrition guidance. So this is just a very small snippet of what's in the book. And here's some nutrition rules to live by. And the list is longer than this, but this is just a section of what you would see in the ebook. So I also have a couple other pages of just things to watch out for. And also ways to make life easier with changing your eating habits. Because this is really difficult to just change your habits that you've been doing for a long time. So it's just a lot of simple tips that you can pick up with right away to begin that path of making improvements with your nutrition. So going into the exercise index, this section is, I wish I had all this information when I started working out, but especially this section uh, and especially the squat. That's why I chose to demonstrate this. So in this ebook, in the exercise index, every single exercise, you will have a page dedicated to it, just like this one. So this is the barbell back squat. I have a YouTube link you can click on to watch as well. And then here are guidelines to follow as you're squatting. So you can pull this up right on your phone, or you can even print this off, bring it with you with your workout program to the gym. And you can be like, okay, I'm, I'm squatting. All right, here's how, here's how I do the squats. And then that's just how you go through the checklist. Or you can also look at the YouTube link really quick. If you're sitting at the gym, maybe you're just getting ready in your car and you want to look at the video really quick before you go in. This is a great way of how to do it. Okay. So if you buy and read this ebook, you will acquire the power of fitness knowledge. You will be able to take control, apply that knowledge and change your life with health and fitness. What would that mean to you? What would it mean to be able to take health into your own hands while having a handbook to solve all of your questions and to satisfy your individualized fitness needs? Of course, I'm biased, but that should mean everything to you. I know it means and has always meant everything to me. It truly can be life-changing, as cliche as it sounds. There is great value in this book. How to Work Out has workout programs that I've used and sold the clients for twice the price, if not more, than what the actual ebook costs. Also, remember this ebook has value way exceeding the workout plans, yet the price is way cheaper. For the price of a t shirt, which is very cheap, and you get way more use out of this ebook than a t shirt, which is $21.50, you can get an ebook that you can read on the daily to help you improve your health and fitness forever. So, if you liked what you heard in this video, then you are left with two options. You can keep going down the road of spinning your wheels in the mud, not getting results, feeling lost, or maybe just remaining in a state of confusion on how to do exercise in the gym. Or you can get the ebook, how to work out and get out of that rut. Make the decision to create a better life for yourself right now instead of tomorrow, because tomorrow is always tomorrow and then tomorrow. So you owe it to yourself and you deserve it to make a change right now. Thank you for listening and good luck with your fitness endeavors.